Time to, uh, time to talk a little skis of football now. It's the uh, skis a game of the week. It's Dylan Christian taking on Robert E. Lee. The Warriors, what can you say, playing fantastic football. Just one loss on the season for them. Tonight, can they keep the train on the tracks and keep going at home? Let's take you out to the highlights and here they come on the field. Let's play some football. Robert E. Lee coming out fast. Bryce Barrett on the quarterback keeper. He's going to take it around the right side. He's going to pick up a nice chunk of change. 30 yards, finally driven out by Michael Mangus. Later in the drive, it's Matthew Tidwell on the receiving end of this. Stopped just short of the 10-yard line here by the Warrior defense. He's finally pushed out of bounds. It's going to lead to a Barrett quarterback keeper. He takes it in from two yards out to give Robert E. Lee an early 6-0 lead. Dylan Christian finds themselves in a hole at home, looking to get back in the swing of things. Davis finding Anthony Williams. He's going to get stopped, not before he picks up a nice 15-yard game. Cheer squad trying to get their team fired up. Second quarter. Davis going through the air again. He throws it up, but check out the interception by Bryce Barrett playing quarterback and safety. He's going to return it back to the 30-yard line, and all of a sudden, Robert E. Lee is back in business. That will lead to yet another touchdown, a quarterback keeper, and all of a sudden, it's 14 to nothing after the two-point conversion. Would Dylan Christian be able to come back? We take you to the scoreboard, and it looks like this. No. The answer is no. Robert E. Lee coming into Dylan Christian and knocking the Warriors off handing them their second loss of the season. 21 to six your final. Dylan Christian on the road next week as they go to PD Academy, a very vastly improved PD Academy. So it didn't get any easier for the Warriors as they suffer that home loss tonight to Robert E. Lee.